All right, so this is going to be kind of a quick general overview of the assembly of the 3D printed hovercraft. Um, once you get all your parts printed, you want to start with the rudders. Uh, what you'll have to do is probably clean them out, the top and bottom holes with your little drill bit, the 1 16th inch. And then you take your brass rod and you're going to want to cut uh, either 4 or 6 little 1 8 inch collars, which you're going to press into these holes. Uh, you might have to use a little glue to secure them. Uh, I didn't have to. Um, once you got your support knocked out of your rudders, you want to clean those up so they fit freely on there. And then you'll run your half inch screws into those so that will act as your hinge. Uh, you mount your rear link here with more half inch screws. You might have to clean the holes out on this link here to make sure it pivots freely. Um, once you get the rudders installed, you can install the lower hull. Uh, that's installed by four screws. There's two under the rudder duct, one right there. And then one right here next to my receiver, and then also one in front. This is a half inch, the rest are 3 8 inch. Uh, once you get the lower hull installed, you can install the thrust duct. Uh, the way you do that is you flip it over, use your drill bit again, run it through those holes into the thrust ducts to allow you to mount your screws. Um, you could probably do that before you mount the lower hull, probably make it a little easier. But either way, once you get that installed, you run the screws into the duct. Um, then you can install your motor. The way I have this designed, it's compact, so you can't really get the prop out without taking the motor out. But um, put your prop on, kind of squeeze the motor in there a little bit. It'll fit. You kind of have to maneuver a little bit. But then you run your screws. Um, and that's all set. Then you go to your thrust duct. Same thing, mount your prop, uh, your motor, and your prop. Uh, if you have a 4 inch prop, that's great. I just used the same prop as my thrust propeller, but I trimmed it down. Works pretty well. Uh, you mount that with four more screws. Those are the quarter inch. Then you can run your wiring through the hole in the upper hull. And you can do all your electronics. You can see how I have mine set. I have my, my lift ESC here. This one's the one with the BEC. There's an extra one I had laying around. Um, there's my thrust motor ESC. Those are running to a singular battery, which are 3S 1500 milliamps. Uh, you can get your servo installed, your 9 gram servo. You can use your 1 millimeter or what is it? 1 32nd inch push rod spring steel. I like to use these little connectors here. It makes it easier to route it through instead of trying to meander that push rod around. Um, I just have my receiver mounted here. I still need to make a cover for this. I'll upload that soon. Uh, from there, that's pretty much the basic assembly. I'll show you how to do the skirt now. I have my old version here. An extra skirt. What you want to do is lay your plastic out. Keep stuff in front of it. Alright, once you have your plastic bag laid out, another trick is when you unroll your plastic bag, don't open it because when you cut it, you can get two skirts out of it because usually they're stuck together. But anyways, you lay your skirt ring there and you'll take a sharpie marker or something that you can see and you'll trace around the inner diameter of your skirt ring, cut that out, and then you take a ruler, some sort of measuring device, and then you want to measure out from this inner diameter out about five to seven inches is about what I found to work the best. Um, if you go wider, you get a little bit more ride height, but it's not as stable. So you'll draw that around the entire perimeter, cut that out, then you got your skirt. And you'll take your hull, flip it over, and then you will lay your skirt on top. You want to get it as even as possible. Take your skirt ring. Whoops. Then you will lay that on there. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but um, before you do this, you'll have to plop that on there and use the same drill bit 
and just drill out those holes on the lower hull. But anyways, put your skirt on, skirt ring, once it's all even, start running in the screws to cinch it all now nice and tight. I'll flip it over, and then to actually attach the skirt up top, I usually like to start from the four corners, well, four sides actually, and then just kind of work my way in incrementally. But what you want to do, still get it as centered as possible, and you'll lay it on the upper hull about a quarter of an inch, and you'll take your skirt clip and just kind of press it on there. And you'll do, you know, your corner here, corner on the other side, the stern, and then the actual corners. So you have one clip here already. So you got your corner here. You'll just work incrementally from the center. So you'll put another clip there. We'll take this excess, we'll fold it in, put another clip there. And then once you get down to where there's a space for enough for one more clip, you'll want to take the material, the excess material, and actually fold it over itself <clears throat> to make kind of like a nice little pleat there. Then you'll secure it with another clip. So if you do that all the way around, you should end up with a pretty nice even skirt. This one's pretty 